Hey everyone, this is Kerry Ho from the songbirdtree.com where we get grounded, take flight and sing. So today's singing video um, is actually about how to sing high notes. I get this question all the time, okay? And uh, so this is a video that will help you. All of us want to be able to sing high. Um, you know, we think it's uh, it makes us sound impressive and uh, it's just fun to be able to sing up high, right? And um, I did do an introductory video of this um, in my How to Sing 101 series where I talked about how to strengthen the chest and head voice. And in particular, the section on head voice um, is actually an introduction to this. So if you haven't yet seen that video, please go and check that out first because um, that's where I actually just give you the basics of how to actually open up your throat to your high ranges. Um, and uh, once you've sort of gone through those exercises, and, and, they, and it is um, just for a quick recap for, for all of you, um, the whoop whoop exercise, so where you go whoop 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 whoop, right? So go through that again and make sure you've, you've sort of learned how to actually access those high notes easily. And once you get there, all right, now come back to this video and I want to give you a new exercise to actually complement that and um, and and again it's you know in order to sing high we need to have a very strong high, uh, head voice right um, otherwise it's just gonna sound really weak and breathy um, so it's really important to develop a really strong head voice rather than trying to push our chest voice up all right that is actually not the best way to sing all the time, you know. If you're always singing high notes like that, like trying to belt out at the top of your chest range, um, you're actually going to um, cause pain, you know. You're going to maybe cause damage to your vocal cords. You'll, you'll find that it might actually get swollen. You'll become husky with your voice, that sort of thing. So overall, not the best way to be um, tackling high notes if that's the only way you're doing it. And so a really important thing is to strengthen your head voice, okay. Head voice can actually sounds so strong that it actually is almost indistinguishable um, between chest and head voice if you practice correctly. I mean if you just think of um, opera singers like Pavarotti um, and you know you'll hear that they they sing really really high and it's so powerful and guess what they're actually singing in their head voice it's not like they're trying to belt it out in chest voice it's all in head voice um, and so it is possible to have that really strong sounding head voice. And so this is an exercise that I want to introduce to you that will help you to get there. So it's a classical exercise. So in other words, it's from the bel canto singing method. Um, and it's it's based, you know, for opera singers. Now that doesn't mean that if you practice um, using classical technique and opera technique that you're going to end up sounding opera. No, that's not the case at all. I mean, all of my singing is contemporary. But classical technique is amazing to actually strengthen your contemporary voice. Um, you know, and at the end of the day, I mean, I don't sound like an opera singer. You've heard me in my, my other videos. I don't sound like an opera singer at all. But I have the option of singing opera if I wanted to because of the training that I've had. Um, so anyway, that's just another thing to throw in there for you to think about. But anyway, so today here's the exercise. It will sound classical and operatic sort of thing. Um, but it is with the purpose of developing your head voice so that it becomes very, very strong so that you can hit those high notes powerfully without straining and pulling up your chest voice. Okay, so here is what it sounds like. Okay, so it's simply just five notes descend, uh, sorry, three notes descending um, on a major triad. And we're going to sing it on fi, 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 so as in F double E. Now before we even do that, I want you to try to just say E. That's right. E. Now as you say that, you shouldn't be smiling too much, so it shouldn't be like E, you know, because otherwise it's like a tension building in your cheeks and uh, we already know that tension will absorb your sound and it doesn't help you to sing, especially high notes. So it's an E, okay? Your, your jaw should be relatively relaxed, okay? You should have a little bit of space in between your bot uh, bottom and top teeth um, and it's E, but it's a very bright, because E is a very bright sound. E, and you should actually feel a bit of buzz sort of resonating up towards the back of your mouth um, and up there as well in your soft palate, okay? And if you feel that, then you're doing it correctly, okay? Because the sound should be projecting outwards. It shouldn't be a e, e, right? It's e, e, but a relaxed jaw, e. Now say fi, fi. Now that's the kind of feeling I want you to take into the exercise. So it goes like this. 
Now remember, of course, good deep breath in and open up in the throat. Okay, so now um, I won't sing the, the last couple so that you could actually s hear yourself sing as I accompany you. Okay, so I'll just go up to top G there. For some of you, you might be able to go higher. For some of you, that might already feel too high. And you need to be able to listen to where your body's at and go according to that, okay? Um, so basically, if you are able to practice that exercise, just going, you know, go and go through it, you know, at least twice, sort of up and down, you are going to find that your head voice begins to sound stronger um, every day, okay? And this is, of course, provided that you are giving a good supported breath, and you're opening in the throat. So do remember to go and have a look at my How to Sing 101 series. Um, those those um, videos will actually give you a good foundation in all of those sort of things. Um, so there you go, okay? This is a classical based exercise that actually helps with your contemporary singing. This will help to open up your throat in order to get those high notes. And as you practice that, um, more and more you'll find that your head voice begins to sound very very strong and that it can actually be indistinguishable between your chest voice as well. Um, so good luck with that everyone, have a go and please feel free to drop down your comments or questions for me below. Um, if you haven't already, um, do consider subscribing to my website um, just by clicking the box up there. Uh, you'll be the first to receive my singing video tips. Um, and also, hey, if you want to see what else I do, go and check out my website at www.thesongbirdtree.com. Well, have fun with this video and have fun with your singing people. And I will see you next time in the next singing tip video. Bye for now.